And Mary Alley is usually outside enjoying the weather, but due to the rain, we had to move things inside today. She joins us virtually. Mary Alley, thank you so much for being here with us. Hi, Taylor. Good afternoon. Thanks so much for having us. Of course. And so you guys have the farmer's market and usually when it rains, it's kind of treacherous for your market vendors. But that farmer's market pavilion, it's hoping to help alleviate some of that. What, what's going on over there with that build? Yes, absolutely. So, you know, as just like weather affects this, this region, it definitely affects us here at the park. So every time it rains, you know, we're pretty much canceling everything or, you know, people just aren't showing up. And that's especially true on Saturday mornings with the Lafayette Farmers and Artisans Market. Now, one way we're combating that is with our new Paul A. Doyle Senior Farmers Market Pavilion that you can see here. This is an open air pavilion, it's 3,000 square feet, and we kicked things off about a month ago. We expect the project to last about 12 months, and it'll also include um, many fun things alongside that, so additional parking, more fun events, um, really opening the doors for the park to have these events inside, inside of a space in case it rains, on a day, especially on a day like today. Yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be a great resource to the park too, and I love that for it's sure. also ADA compliant. Absolutely, completely ADA compliant. It also includes restrooms um, and really just such a great asset to the park. You know, we have to raise $2 million per year. And one way that we definitely plan to do that is through event sales like corporate parties or even having our own ticketed concerts within this new pavilion. So we're completely thrilled about it. Um, if you come to the farmer's market this Saturday, you've been to the park recently, you've probably noticed a lot of that fencing already mm -hmm. installed. So. Come out, keep an eye on it, and I'll be sure to keep you guys posted. Mary Alley, thank you so much for stopping by to share this with our viewers. If people at home want to stay up to date on all the things happening at the park, where can they go? Marcuspark.org. Make it so easy. As always, thanks so much <laughs> for hanging out with us every Wednesday. Thanks so much, Taylor. Stay dry. Of course. If you at home want to learn more, head to KDN.com. Everything you need will be right there. But guys, stick around. If you're hungry, they've got just the place for you.